um, we're going to fish down the Burley Trail now and hopefully uh, bring up a few Trevally, maybe a nice brim okay. as well. Yep. When you're fishing a Burley Trail, you want to use floaters. Now, if you use a large sinker, obviously like that, it's going to go straight to the bottom. Okay. Nothing's going to find it. The Burley's very light, so what we're trying to do is just float our bait down along that Burley Trail. Okay. Hopefully what, entice a nice sort of, or brim. What sort of burley would you use for? Mainly chopped pilchards. Yeah. And we're just going to use chicken pellets. Chicken pellets. Chicken pellets. I thought, we were, Layer pellets. I thought we were fishing for fish, not chicken, mate. No. They're a great <laughs> burley. You keep yeah. them at home. Okay. Uh, they don't rot. They don't smell. As long as you put a good seal of the lid on them, okay. the pests will stay out so of them. So my missus will be my missus will be very happy if I buy some of that and it doesn't stink. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon it's a brim? Yeah. For all my years of experience fishing, I think it's a brim. <laughs> <laughs> so it'd be nice if it's a flathead. On as well. We've got a double up. Yeah, double look up. So who's going to net the fish for Scott? Oh, I think we'll work that out. <laughs> well, i got a trevally on. It's a brim. A nice brim. brim. You get to run on that other rock oh, too. Okay. It's all happening. It's all happening. That's what tends to happen when you're fishing. We sat here for about <laughs> oh, probably 15 minutes and we hadn't lost a bait. All of a sudden we've got a triple hook up now. We've got a nice brim in the net. I've got a trevally on here. Paul's got a trevally on as well. Nice fish. This one's going around our live bait. How are you looking there, Paul? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's got a bit of weight, Mr. Oh, that's a nice trevally. Well, we managed a couple of nice fish. We've got a, a nice trevally there, a smaller brim and a smaller trevally. What you want to do is make sure you look after your fish. Now, I've bled them. I'm going to place them onto ice. I've got a bit of water in the bottom of the tank. I'll place a nice block of ice in there. That'll drop the temperature right down and your fish will be in perfect nick when you get home. To find out more about the show, check out our website, thehookandthecook.com.